Microsoft Link is all about connecting with others conveniently through instant messaging, chat rooms, phone calls, video calls, desktop sharing, and Link meetings. But before you get started, you'll want to set up Link for you and the way you work. Link automatically opens to your contacts view, which displays the people you connect with most. Here you can do things like check someone's present status, start an IM, an audio call, a video call, or even a meeting. You can add and remove contacts and create groups so you can quickly connect with several people at once. These icons up here let me switch views. I can click here to see my chat rooms. These are ongoing discussions that I'm a part of. The conversations view shows me all my past IMs, calls, and link meetings in case I need to go back and find any of them. The dial pad lets me dial a number, use touchtone for phone menus, and check my voicemail. But since I use my contacts view the most, I like to keep it here. Now this area up here is nice because you can write a note or a status that others will see. It even takes hyperlinks. You can manually change your present status and location anytime you want. But if you have link tied to your Outlook calendar, like I do, these details change automatically. So for example, if I go to a meeting in Building 30, my contact information will change to show this, and I never even touched it. 